Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review, or more like an audiobook review, of The Thousand Dollar Tan Line by Rob Thomas and Jennifer Graham. This is the first book in the Veronica Mars book series that I believe will be happening, and the audiobook is narrated by Kristen Bell. Now I'm not going to give the usual synopsis of the book that I tend to give at the beginning of my videos, because if we are all honest with ourselves, the only reason why you would pick this book up is because you are a fan of Veronica Mars. The plot slash mystery don't really matter, they're more just like a vehicle to experience these characters that we've grown to love, which is exactly what I wanted out of this book. The book takes place after the movie, so if you haven't watched the movie yet, which I don't know what you're waiting for, but if you haven't watched that yet, you definitely need to because there are spoilers for the movie in this book. I was waiting a little bit to pick up the book just because I wanted to see see if it was actually going to be worth it. But then I heard that Kristen Bell was doing the audiobook version of it, so I decided to sign up for Audible and do one of their little free trials and see how I liked it. I swear this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, I'm just giving you guys my experience with the audiobook. Now if you know me at all, you know that I don't really read audiobooks or listen to audiobooks. I've tried them in the past. I've checked some out from the library to see if I could use that as a way to get some extra reading done, but I never really Really enjoyed the experience. I always felt like audiobooks were going too slow for my brain so I would always zone out in the middle of an audiobook and then I would lose my place and then I would just get frustrated and give up. But with Audible you can actually speed up the narration so that actually helped immensely with me staying focused with this. Also with Kristen Bell narrating it fits perfectly. As you guys who have watched Veronica Mars know, Kristen Bell does narration, or Veronica Mars, the character, does narration for the show and movie, so it feels really natural listening to this and having her narrate. Also, Kristen Bell just does a really amazing job of doing all the characters' voices. Like, you can imagine all the characters really, really well. Like, her, Mac, and Keith, and Wallace are, like, spot on. Even her dick's pretty good. Her Logan isn't the best, but there isn't a lot of Logan in this book. And I I honestly love this book and I think part of that is the fact that it was an audiobook. I totally felt immersed in the experience and I could really imagine all of the scenes that were taking place. I felt like I was watching the movie or I was watching another movie as opposed to listening to or reading a book. If you love Veronica Mars, I definitely think this is a book you should be checking out and I especially recommend the audiobook version of this. I'm also slightly curious because there are things that happen in this book and I feel like if they do ever want to do another movie, I feel like this book is going to be required reading because this deals with some of the things that happen in the movie and there's some things that are slightly resolved or talked about or dealt with. I don't want to ruin anything obviously, but there are certain things that happen in this book that if there was another movie, either they would have to pretend like this book doesn't exist or they would have to make this book required reading. Also, just another positive note, I told one of my friends about this. She's a huge Veronica Mars fan and she reads a little bit, but she's never done audiobooks before and she is just absolutely loving the audiobook or at least what she's listened to so far. She's not like super far into it, but she called me the other day absolutely raving about it. So that is definitely another recommendation recommendation from someone else who is absolutely enjoying this. So basically, if you love Veronica Mars, definitely pick this up. It will totally be worth your time and again, I recommend the audiobook because I think it's a better experience. The only real downside to this, I would say, is just my own personal preference of I wish there was more Wallace because I love Wallace and I always want more Wallace but you know that's just the way Veronica Mars' world works there isn't ever enough Wallace also I still really want Wallace and Mac to get together because I think they would be the perfect couple like I could totally imagine them you know hanging out all the time when Veronica just chooses them to go on a case and then just you know getting together I'm sure that fan fiction exists somewhere out there in the internet I'll find it so yeah those are my thoughts on the thousand dollar tan line by Rob Thomas and Jennifer Goodwin. If you have read the book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you think of it. Also, I feel like even if you read the book already and you wanted to give the audiobook a chance, I would still recommend checking out the audiobook because I feel like it's still worth it. Like, I honestly really love this experience and I want them to write more books so that way I can listen to Kristen Bell narrate some more and enjoy more of Veronica Mars stories. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.